hear you. All right. Because otherwise I'm going to throw you out. Okay. You got it. All right. I was 18 at the time. So you were 18 and she was 15. Yes, Your Honor. That's a no-no. I don't care whether you took it with a Kodak brownie. Remember the Kodak brownie? I remember the Kodak brownie. That's a no-no. Now that we understand that you and I understand each other, somebody made a complaint to the police that you had pornographic pictures of a teenager on your phone. Yes, and the issue is... Yes, they did. And as a result of that, the phone was confiscated. Yes, the previous phone that wasn't stolen. Sorry. Now I want you to tell me what happened with the new phone. Who, by the way, who brought you the new phone? My grandmother here. Yeah. Did you tell your grandmother why the other phone got confiscated? Yes. And she still bought you another phone? I already had the phone when I told her. It was a backup phone. The phone... Just a second. It's getting better now. What does that mean about... Which phone are we Let, talking I, about? Listen to me. I don't want to hear you. I'm 73 years old. I run a very big business. I have a phone. Now, Bird does very well. He not only runs this part of his life, he has a charity part of his life, he has a social part of his life. You have a backup phone? And your 18-year-old grandson just told me he had a backup phone. What? I'd just like to say that uh, the phone with the sexy pictures on them, I had that phone in the and then she bought me a new phone, which was the iPhone, and I forgot all about the, uh... So you had both phones? Yes, I had both just phones. Just a second. So if you had both phones, listen, kid, the first thing that somebody does when they get a new iPhone is they transfer all their pictures. It wasn't... That's the first thing that they do. It wasn't an iPhone. Listen, you had a kerfuffle with her about the phone. I want you to tell me about the kerfuffle that you had with her with the phone. That's part of the second lawsuit, which is her lawsuit against you for false arrest for stealing the iPhone. I'll take that one now. Sure. Everybody can stay in their own place. So you're suing for the iPhone. Now you're going to tell me what happened with the iPhone after the police confiscated the phone because now you're no longer together. Well, I'm trying to say that I had the iPhone this entire time. The police took the previous phone, the Android, so I still had the iPhone. So, over December, Faith was breaking up with me, and I met her in the car. You know, I was fine with this. You she met was... her in what car? My car. You picked her up someplace in your car? Yes. Where did you pick her up? It was near her friend's house in Menifee. She was staying with her friend at the time. Okay, she got into your car, and? Uh, we did the whole sob story, breaking up deal, and right before I was about to leave, because I had class, she asked to use my phone because she said her mother was sick in the hospital and she needed to contact her. So I let her borrow my phone. She stepped out of the car and she kind of walked behind a building and it was nighttime. And I waited five minutes and when she didn't return, I knew something was up. So I stepped out of the car and looked for her. She was nowhere to be seen. And I didn't hear from her again until about January. Traditional pharmacies are, well, traditional, and holistic shops can feel overwhelming. It's time for a perfect fusion. With pharmacists educated in traditional and alternative remedies, the new Rite Aid helps you not just get healthy, but get thriving. You want her to be responsible for the damage. Yes. Defendant has a rather interesting defense. First, she said it was a minor fender bender, but it was no big deal. But Miss Peterson says that you rent out your car. Yeah. And that she paid you seventy-five dollars that night to use the car. Is that correct? Yes. Had you ever given him money before? Just for rides. I, that was the first time I'd rented out the car, but he would pick me up and drop me off. And you paid him for that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Starting when? Um, December. And is that the first time you met him? Yeah, I met him through a mutual friend. When I met him, he told me his name was Gary, so... <laughs> Tell me how you met him. He was giving my fun rides for cheaper than a taxi was, so then I started calling him instead of calling a taxi. So this is his business? Well, yeah. The first time you used him, December of 2015, I want you to tell me about that call that you made to him. She was at my house, and we needed, we were going to her house, so we called him, and that's how I met him was through the first ride. And how much did he charge you for that first ride? I think it was like 10 bucks. He was right in town. Get you paid him in cash. Mm -hmm. And when did you use him again? I only used him like 
maybe four or five times before I borrowed the car. Now tell me about the night of January 8th. Where did you want to go? I was just borrowing the car to like be a designated driver for my friends. Well, you had never done that before. No. Uh, he was saving up to move down south, so he suggested that we do $100 a night, but we agreed on 75 Tell me about that conversation. Actually, he had brought it up to my friend, and she told me, so then I started talking to him about it, and he said, you know, from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. for $100, and we settled on $75. He came, picked me up, he got the back seat. I that was on him. January 8th. Mm -hmm. I dropped him off at his house, took the car. On the way back to his house, I had gotten a minor accident. I then drove the car Tell back me to about his the house. accident. Uh, we were at the stoplight, and the car the light turned green. The car ahead of me started going, and it, they slammed on their brakes as I started going after them. So I bumped behind them. Okay, so you were responsible for the accident. Yes, yes. Yes. Don't speak. I, I don't feel like I, I didn't do five thousand dollars worth of damage. Well, you're clearly responsible for the accident if you hit somebody in the road. You're not supposed to get that close. So you had the accident. Mm -hmm. What kind of car was it that you were leasing for the night? I don't know what kind of car. I'm not good at <laughs> the kind, kind of, of car. A 2012 on the accident. When did you buy it? July 5th, 2015. How much did you pay for it? 14 something for it. I'm not really sure. Is the car financed? Yes. They require you to have full insurance on a car until the car note is paid off. It wasn't full coverage. It was just you, they require you to have full coverage on a car until it's paid off. All insurance companies do. You know that. Yeah. But you didn't have full coverage on the car. No, just liability. So. as follows. You breached your contract with the finance company. Yeah. There is no question that Miss Peterson is telling me the truth, that you were operating your own little limousine business on the side for cash, and that she paid you $75 for the night of the yeah. 8th of January so that she could have the car for the night. So there's no question in my mind that you know you were operating a business with your car, a business that requires a license in every jurisdiction. It's not the worst crime in the world. But do you understand? Yes. You did the wrong thing two times. You didn't have full coverage on a car that you were supposed to have full coverage on. Oh, you think so? I'm going to tell you what the law is. The law is that when somebody comes to court, they have to come to court with clean hands. That doesn't mean if you stole a candy bar in a store three years ago and you came into court and you would merely let somebody borrow your car and they had an accident, I would say, well, three years ago you stole a candy bar so you don't have clean hands. But you're asking the court to help you in a situation where you did two things wrong. You didn't have insurance and you were conducting a business with your car without an appropriate license and lending it. Well, she, I know she used it, and her friend used it. I don't know how many other people you were in this business of giving rides to for 10 bucks or 15 bucks. You were your own little Uber driver, only you didn't have to share it with Uber. Whatever it was, it was word of mouth. So the accident was her fault, but you're asking the court to disregard the fact that you didn't have appropriate insurance and you didn't have a license to operate a business and you were giving the car over to people, some of whom may have had licenses, some of whom no, didn't. I just gave it to her. You mean this was the first time you did that? The only time I had. You founded your kayak company because you love the ocean, not spreadsheets. You need to hire. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Indeed Instant Match instantly delivers quality candidates matching your job description. Mr. Harrison, in what month did you leave the apartment? The lease was from February of 2015. 
to February of 2016. What month did you leave the apartment? I'm not sure, but I think it was on the 6th. Of what? Of November. And had you paid November's rent? Um, no, I didn't. Did you pay October's rent? Yes, ma'am. Why hadn't you paid November's rent yet? Because that's what the argument was about, November's rent. Well, Your Honor, actually, I was going to, but Mr. Mobley, my cousin, the way he approached me and the way he talked to me about paying the rent, he was disrespectful, and his language was, like, inappropriate. And I had just told him a couple of days before I was going to pay him, but the way he came about it, the way he approached me, and then... That night I came home, hanging out with friends, I was already upset because I found some information that he was having an affair with my, um, uh, uh, me, with my um, girlfriend. So on the night of the incident, he approached me wrong. I got upset. And you lost your temper? I lost some temper. You picked up a baseball bat, according to this. Yes, ma'am. I picked up a baseball bat. That, but that was, um, like, probably about 15 minutes after we went back and forth, you know, about the rent and about him having a with my girl. 